You know what you have to do. I came here to seduce your father just in case he didn't do the right thing. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Kapowski. Kelly! Hi, Zach. So, Kel, big dance Friday night, huh? I haven't asked anyone yet, Zach. Really? Well, I just want you to know that I'm keeping my calendar clear. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. You want me to ask you. You could do worse. She could do better. A lot better. Now, our next couple is the Morris Kapowskis. I'm an old-fashioned girl. Mrs. Morris would be fine. Huh. Kelly Morris. Wow. I've died and gone to heaven. I am so glad I found you. I have to talk to you. Oh? I wonder what it could be. I don't want to go to the dance with Slater. What? Listen, it gets better. I suddenly realized how much I care for you, Zach. Please rescue me from this muscle-bound monkey. Well, Kelly, how can you say that? You're wearing my heart. This thing? Who cares? <laughs> Kelly! Please say you'll go to the dance with me, Zach. Okay, I'll go with you. What are you guys doing here? Kelly, we can't wait any longer. We've come for your answer. That's right, next week is a prom and you've got to choose between us. Right. Oh, come on, I like you both. I don't want to hurt either one of you. Hey, if you want to hurt Slater, it's okay. <laughs> hey, why would she want to go with a boy when she can go with a gladiator? <laughs> Guys, this is hard. It's like choosing between two great pieces of chocolate. Sorry, Kelly, from now on, you only get zits from one of us. <laughs> okay, if I must... You, you must. must. I want my mommy. Hey, she can go with Zach. <laughs> Listen, I'll give you my answer in the morning, okay? All right, then. Kelly. <laughs> well, she's young and vulnerable. Let her down gently, got it? Yeah, right. Gently. Sounds like the guys really hang up on your sister, and you'd be much better off with someone else. <laughs> Hi, it's Zach. Look, I'm the one running the teen line, and you're the only Kapowski I care about. But don't tell your sister. We should let her down gently. Don't worry, Zach. I won't tell Kelly. Nikki? <laughs> Zach, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I came to see you. Well, you kind of picked an awkward time. Zach, I'd like you to meet Melvin Nerdly. You're Melvin Nerdly? See you tomorrow, Kelly. All right. <laughs> There's a great idea about dating other people, Zach. Tonight, Melvin taught me chess. Tomorrow, he's teaching me lambada. Thanks. Oh, no. Uh, look, Kelly, I've been acting crazy recently. But now I'm back to normal. I want to go out with you and nobody else. Zach, I adore your innocence. When two nuts in a forest are dating other nuts, they can't go steady with each other. Good night. Oh, wait, Kelly. Oh, come on, Kelly. Go away or you'll be sorry. Hey, Kyle, just butt out. OK, I warned you. Kelly, do you realize we've been going steady for 68 days? 14 hours and 37 minutes? Mm, 38 minutes, Zach. But then again, who's counting? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, I just got this job. I couldn't ask for time off already. If you'd like to go, take the night off. It's OK with me. <laughs> Are you sure you're not going to miss me here? Well, of course I'm going to miss you. I always miss you when you're gone. <laughs> you do? You're terrific, Kelly. You too, Jeff. You know, you're the nicest guy I've met in a long time. I better get going. I'll see you tomorrow. Kelly, are you okay? No, I'm not. It is so weird. I mean, I'm here with Zach, and he's the greatest guy. But all I can think about is Jeff. The king and queen of the costume ball are... Romeo and Juliet, Zach and Kelly! Wherefore do I think? Kelly, 
You're the most beautiful queen I've ever seen. Thanks, Jeff. I know there's something going on between you and Jeff. Please, just talk to me. I don't know how to say this. It's just that Jeff and I have been working together, and... Do you really like him? No. Yes. I don't know. It's just all happening so fast. Kelly, what happened? I, I, I thought you loved me. I do love you, Zach. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Not for us. I don't want to hurt you for anything in the whole world. I thought we'd always be together. Zach, I'm so sorry. I miss you, Kelly. Good morning, Zach. No matter how hard you try, you'll never forget me. Forget you? I don't even know your name, Kelly. <laughs> Gosh, she's pretty. I know this girl who would love to go out with you. Her name is Sue, and besides being pretty, she's got a great mind. And she loves to read, so she's got a lot to say. <laughs> You've got to go out with Cassie. You never met my cousin Kimberly, did you? Well, this is the place. Hey, look who's here. Hi, Zach. Oh, hi. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Can you get us a table? Something really romantic. Yeah, sure, right this way. See you guys later. Well, look at him. Come on, Zach, let me order. Let's split a milkshake. One chocolate milkshake with two straws. I'm sorry for the way I treated you. I guess I was more hurt than I thought, and I didn't know how to deal with it. I noticed. You are a very hard girl to get over, Kelly. But I'd rather have you as a friend than not have you at all. Oh, Zach. Hey, congratulations, Jeff. You got a great girl. Treat her right. Hey, you got it, man. Oh, besides, this place bites, Kelly. We were just leaving, That's right? right. Come on, yeah, Come on. I thought this was a happening place to be. I mean, yeah. everybody comes here. Yes, Kelly, unfortunately, everybody comes here. I but broke up with a great guy for you. You're very special to me, but I'm just not ready for a commitment right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I fell for a dishonest jerk like you. Goodbye. There you go. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's getting cold, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Did we just kiss? That's what it felt like to me. Uh, Kelly, I didn't I, plan. I know. Me neither. <laughs> We've had fun together again, haven't we? Oh, yeah, fun. <laughs> Even though... Even though... Huh? Oh, you were saying even though... I was? I was probably nothing. <clears throat> Oh, well, that's enough talk for now. Why don't you guys just look at each other and have a visual relationship? <laughs> no, Zach. She wants to date other guys, not just you. Oops. <laughs> Is that true? I mean, you just want to be friends? I hope that's okay. Oh, it's great. I was going to say the same thing. See? I told you he'd be destroyed. <laughs> Zach Morris, Senior Welcoming Committee. Oh, please, call me, Zach, and please call me tonight. Mm. <laughs> I'll teach you on speed dial. Oh, speed dial. <laughs> Do you want anything else, man? No, thanks. When you smile at me like that, I got everything I need. <sighs> Matt, you're embarrassing me. I'm here some ketchup. Can I talk to you a minute? Sure, Zach. Do you mind? Uh, look, I've been thinking a lot about the prom, and there are a lot of girls I could ask, but when it comes down to it, there's just one girl I want to go with. Now, she's the only girl I've ever cared about. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, Kelly, will you be my date for the senior prom? Zach, that's so sweet. Well, then you will? I can't. I've already said yes to Matt Wilson. I'm sorry. I hope there's no hard feelings. Don't be ridiculous. I'm happy for you, but I feel it's my duty 
as a fellow guy, to warn you. About what? About meeting Kelly's old man. See, he's very protective. He used to interrogate prisoners of war, and sometimes, oh, man, he gets carried away. Sounds dangerous. Actually, he's a wimp compared to Kelly's two older brothers. They'll break your hand if you try to touch her. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, yeah. I mean, you see how this thumb bends? Oh. You used to be able to do this. You know, I'm really getting excited about going to the prom. Uh-huh. Listen, would you mind picking me up a little early? You know, my father wants to meet you. He does? <laughs> what about your brothers? Oh, they'll be there too. I mean, the whole family wants to meet you. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I just remembered I asked somebody else at the prom before I asked you. I'm such a dummy. Well, <laughs> she said yes, so I gotta take her. You understand? Well, hope you find somebody else. Bye. <laughs> Well, I, I really hate to butt in, but I couldn't help overhearing. He taught me. I feel like such a fool. No, no, no. He's the fool. Look, my offer still stands. Why don't you go to the prom with me? Zach, I mean, you're always there when something bad happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to be your date. Really? <laughs> Ellie, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I just couldn't see us going to the senior prom any other way but together. You've been too big a part of my life. I know, I know it's supposed to be over between us, and I know we're friends now, but Kelly, I don't feel that way. You're the only girl for me, and you always will be. Maybe what you did was wrong, but this feels right. I think we belong together, too. Zach and Kelly, two people destined for each other. <laughs> What's up? We're back! I didn't know you guys were coming. Oh, it's homecoming weekend. Hey. Yeah. I wish we could have seen the game, but on the way here, we, we had got sex a flat in the limo. Do you hear your son? We have raised a real prankster turned activist, like George Clooney. Mm. Oh, those parents suck. You know, the Douglas kids, they deserve to go to a great school like Bayside. Besides, new kids keep things fresh. Remember Tori? Who? Do I know my father? Of course, it's Zach. Why are you asking? You're, you're not Jeff's. So last night was fun. Yeah, it's just like old times. Except like, not fun. And really not like old times. Why was it so weird? Huh. Were we being too sexy? Uh, we're always too sexy. We got all the awkwardness out of the way. I bet tonight is gonna be great. Man, it is so hot when you're cheerful and optimistic. I'm so glad you're the only woman I've ever been with in my entire life. Hmm.